Z100. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have all collected in this one little room to celebrate the fact it's Friday. It feels like a Friday. Elvis Duran in the morning show. Look at that great texting coming in at fifty five one hundred. There's a guy here. He has a message for Nate. He says he also enjoys his Jo station. Oh, (laughs) that's important. Read the rest of it, (laughs) Elvis. He got weird real quick. Well, first of all, he's in his seventies. And we love that. He's listening in, and uh, there's a machine involved. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> so okay. uh, if, if I'm interpreting this correctly, he no longer can use his hands at his station, so he has to use a machine. He's a machine. Is that AI? Well, whatever it is. Uh, but you know what? I, I, my point is this. You have fans, Nate, and they're all out there living the life that you're living, and I love that. Cord. It struck I'm a sure cord. it did. My your your cord was struck. All right. <laughs> Every guy's so got one. Feel club. free. Feel free to text us no matter what's on your mind uh, at fifty five one hundred. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Uh, shall we get into a little bit of science? Oh, love <laughs> science! Here we go. I know what we all love science, especially Gandhi. Right now, as we sit here uh, in New York City. We have trans, a transmitter at the top of the Empire State Building. We have transmitters all over across the country. No matter where you're listening, it could be on a radio and not on digital. It could be on, it may not be online, right? Mm-hmm. Well, here's the thing about this system. Sometimes the atmosphere does not cooperate. <laughs> if you're listening in, let's say, Westchester County, upstate New York, or toward upstate, rather, and in Connecticut, you're hearing a lot of interference and maybe you can't hear us as clearly as usual. And this is because we are currently in a zone of intense tropospheric ducting. Well, what? What happens is it has to do with the change of the seasons and the temperature. You have warmer air below, I guess, and colder air above, and it interferes with FM transmission. It happens when we get warm days and cool nights. It's very common this time of year. Very common. So no matter what station you usually listen to us, to us on, they obviously have an online presence. Simply go online and listen that way on the iHeartRadio app. We don't yeah. have tropospheric ducting there. Not at all. It's not perfect. <laughs> <laughs> but it's on. So that's what's going on. It's a very scientific huh. thing. You know, this this technology has been around for a few years. And so feel free to listen to us on the totally free iHeartRadio app. Mm. There you go. More science. When's the last time you cried? When's the, when was the last time you had a tear come out of your tear duct? This week. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Happy tears, sad tears? Sad tears. <laughs> As she laughs. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> you're bidding. Uh, uh, you're bidding until next time to your son Spencer, who yeah. went off to college. Uh huh. Did you try to stop yourself from crying? Nope. Well, Gandhi says that's the good answer. Yes. You should not stop yourself. Tell everyone why. So crying is very important. It is. I mean, whether it's a reflex to something that's happening around you, like smoke or an allergy, or it's emotional. It's very important that you cry because your body is doing something for you. Every type of emotion, if it spikes, allegedly, can cause tears. Oh. Tears of joy, fear, happiness, pain, all kinds of tears. And when you cry, each tear, apparently when looked at through a microscope and analyzed, they have different chemicals in them. And it's your body trying to regulate that massive emotional response or physical response to something and help you. So when you suppress your tears, you're suppressing your body trying to release chemicals to make you feel better from whatever that thing is. Huh. And that's when problems arise. So you got to cry it out. It's important. Cry it out. Absolutely. Cry it out. For that reason, again, the other reason is just, you know what? Lean into whatever's getting you down or getting you up. Be a part of it. Be aware of it. Don't let it fly by. Yeah. A lot of a lot of people have a hard time, and it's not unusual. It's not a bad thing. A lot of people have a hard time showing emotion when it comes to that. 
Um, it's a better thing if you go ahead and let it let it take over. Yeah. Let it do its thing. It's like when you breathe. Sometimes you don't want to hold your breath because you'll, well, you'll faint. Yeah. <laughs> that is that true. Plan. That is true. <laughs> let, science, let science do its thing. Hmm. <laughs> take that next breath. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like a biochemical dump that your body is trying to say, hey, let me help you out with this. I know what's going on. And then you suppress it. And then that just, you know, causes so much more. There you go, Danielle. It's a biochemical dump. Don't worry. I don't suppress it. We're all good. It's good. good. <laughs> That's why you're so healthy. That's why oh, you're yeah. Danielle. And there you go. Another moment of science. Yeah, quiet. Cry, everybody. Give me a good cry. Let's uh, go around the room. I'm going to see what's on the minds of everyone here. And uh, we'll start with uh, Nate. I'm going to start with you. What's on your mind today? Okay. Find yourself a good dentist. Take care of your choppers. Mm-hmm. You only get, well, two sets, I guess. But take care of that second set. I know Gandhi's got a great dentist. Elvis, you're taking care of your teeth. I went and saw my dentist, Diane, my hygienist. She always takes such good care of me. I had to give her a shout out. Uh, did you know there's such a thing as a deep cleaning? I didn't know. Oh that. yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah. absolutely. The people that haven't been to the dentist in a long time, and you got to really dig in there, pull the gums back, scrape all that crap off. Yep. Uh, just go for a cleaning. You go twice a year, you won't have to get the deep cleaning. So just make that appointment. Find yourself a good dentist. Dude, if we're All shouting right. out our dentist, Dr. Hal Wolfson, shouting him out. He's awesome. Thank you. All right. Gundy, <laughs> shout out our dentist. Dr. Go. Millman at Lotus Smiles in Jersey City. He's taking over the whole show. Everybody's starting to go there now because he's amazing. Harmony mm-hmm. Dental Group yeah. in Norwalk. And I will drive an hour and a half to go to this dentist. That's yeah, how good this dentist Mine is called Allwood Family Dentistry. Thank you, Clifton, New there Jersey. There you go. Thank you. Shout we out to Dr. John Rosa in Jersey City, Newport, baby. No, there that's you go. For 25 years now. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those. Chompers, and you know, as they say, we've said it many times in our show. If you're true to your teeth, they'll never be false to you. Yeah, waka waka. True. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Scary. What, what's on your mind today? If I may be so selfish, no, actually, no, I, I don't want to be selfish. I actually just want to say, everybody needs to come to American Dream tomorrow. <laughs> this is big. This is an idea that we was was born on our radio show. That's Elvis, true. You have had the idea along with the people from American Dream. We're giving Sing away it. ten thousand dollars in cash, spending cash for American Dream, plus like Broadway show tickets and a whole bunch of other things. You need to be there at noon tomorrow. And if you're if you're in listening range, this is worth it. We're, we're gonna be just throwing prizes out off the stage all that from noon to two, every couple of minutes, okay? Right. And we're gonna be a, doing a big one at two o'clock, $5,000, okay. that's all. There you go, American Dream, noon tomorrow in yeah. court A. Yes. If you're uh, experiencing intense tropospheric ducting, maybe you didn't hear the whole thing, uh, <laughs> but try to find your way there. Yeah. Let's hear it for Don. Don at American Dream. Yes. Don. 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 He's a miracle. He's a miracle worker. We love him. Froggy, what's on your mind today? So I don't know who got more excited. Yesterday, one of my dogs has a favorite toy. We have not been able to find this toy for months and months and months. I have looked everywhere. Yesterday, I was cleaning behind something. And there it was. Aw, oh, perfect. Mm. I don't know who was more excited, me or him. No. It might have been me. But now he won't let it go. He has ah. been playing with it ever <laughs> since I found it yesterday, and nobody's allowed to get near it. Not his brother, Aww. nobody. If you get Aww. near it, he loses it. So. Froggy, I just read that dogs can remember names of toys years yes. after they've been gone. Oh, Isn't that wow. crazy? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So he probably really was excited. What, what like, does this toy have a name? Uh, no, no, no. It's a ball. Oh, okay. It's just a ball oh, that he likes. It's the perfect size. <laughs> it's squishy, so it's easy for him to catch. It's it's just it's the per- most perfect well, ball ever. You see, in our house, it wouldn't be a ball. We call it Mister Bolly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> go get Mister. Go get Mister Squishy Bolly. Yep. We call uh, it Gandhi, the what's ball. up? What's up with you, Gandhi? Okay, so we know that social media changes the algorithm constantly. One day it's like, oh, I'm doing so well and this is great. And the next day nobody likes anything and you think you worked so hard on it. So I want everyone to try and reframe the way they use social media and think about it as a diary to yourself. You are posting things for yourself to remember your experiences and the things that you had fun doing and not worry about how everybody else is reacting to it because one day you'll be able to look back on this and be really happy with what you posted for you whereas if you posted stuff for everybody else you're going to look back and it's going to mean nothing so just do your stuff for yourself make it your diary Hmm. all right there you go good advice uh did you hear that good advice for you scary (laughs) 
Perfect. <laughs> okay. Uh, Danielle, yes. what's on your mind today? All right, so this is for people who wear glasses. When you go to get a new pair of glasses and your prescription is not in it, how can you tell if the glasses look good <laughs> when your vision's blurry and you're looking in the mirror wow. and you're like, uh, I think these look good. Do these look good? And then Is the your people, vision that bad? Well, it, it you know, you can't really tell 100% how good you look or bad you look in them if you really need glasses. Think about it. So I'm like, you know, I don't know. So I got a pair of glasses, and the first one, I was like, no, I don't like these. So I returned them, and then I got a new pair, and I don't know. It's just the weirdest thing to me. Like, how do people do that if you really can't see? Daniel, take well, who, pictures of yourself in them, and then yes. put your glasses on and look at the picture. Oh, that's a good idea, Gandhi. That, I didn't think go. of that when I was standing there for 25 <laughs> minutes trying to figure it out. <laughs> and as we love, you know, we are your counsel. Send us all a photo. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll take a vote. <laughs> What do you think of these? Your glasses. <laughs> there oh you go. Boy. And that, yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah. Uh, and there's your around the room. We got everyone, right? I think we're all in. Yeah. Is everybody cool? I think so. We're good? Hey, I, I've got Marco in line, too. Moved from his hometown, left his family and friends behind. Ah, oh, what is that like? Marco, uh, tell us your story. You're in Chicago now, but where did you move from? So I moved from uh, Illinois, Smolin. This is a small oh, little you- town. And basically, I moved up because... My sister's boyfriend gave me a job up here Ooh. for construction. Wow. Chicago. How nice, though. What a great city. So you left yeah. all your family and your friends behind. Uh, the only thing you have that's sort of familiar is us, right? No. Yep. Correct. Oh, I'm glad awesome. we could be there with you. Well, it's good to be here. I mean, it, we've been doing this for a lot of years, and a lot of people listen to us every morning because it, it makes them comfortable because they're used to us. Even though we are very uncomfortable people by nature, <laughs> are you are you excited you made the move, Marco? I am, but it's just hard. It's hard. It is. We were just talking about the other day how, as an adult, it's tough to actually make friends outside of a workplace. But if you can, it'll be great, and it's kind of an exciting time too. Something yeah. new. It is exciting. It's just hard for me to keep going sometimes at work. Oh, also, no. so work is very, very challenging. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Well, but otherwise, I mean, look, all jobs have challenging moments. Do you enjoy your work? Are you satisfied at the end of, the, of, mo- of most days anyway? Oh, I love it because at the end of the day, it's something that I've done. Like, we destroy the patios and we redo them. And at the end, it's just like, wow. I built that. I Aww. did that. That's cool because you created it. Yeah. It's like your yeah. baby, you know? There's satisfaction there. That's cool. Well, look, we're happy for you, Marco. Yeah, Nate. Okay, Marco, I did this. I moved away from home when I was 23, and you will look back on this. How old are you? 37. Okay, you're 37. You're going to look back on this in a few years and say this was the best thing I ever did. Moving away, experiencing new things. Yeah. What a great experience. Seriously. Yeah, it's an adventure. You know, I did it when I was 17. I moved out go. of the house. I thought you were going to say seven. I was like, well, I moved, damn. Just ran away. You, know, you think you moved out of there. I left when I was three years old. <laughs> Marco, congratulations. Enjoy your time. Enjoy living in such a beautiful city. Chicago has everything you need. And thanks for listening to us. Thanks for staying with us because we're, we're going to be here every day, okay? Hey, thank you, guys. Good luck. All right, thank you. Good hearing from you. Yeah, best of luck. Wow. Mo- picking up and moving. Those days... At least for me, anyway. That was a long time ago. Uh, Gandhi, you were the last person here to move. I was. And you know what's crazy? On Tuesday, it's going to be six years what? since I moved here. Six years. It feels wow. like one or two. Yeah. Wow. Well, it's been a long wait, time. Wait, Froggy, you moved from South Florida to Jacksonville less than six years ago, right? Yes. Okay. But, but, yeah, but you're with us. You brought us with you, so... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you're kind of you cursed in a way. <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we're all cursed here. Well, anyway, so, yeah, the thought of just picking up and moving to a whole different planet, ooh, God, that sounds kind of enticing. Doesn't it? Yeah, it yeah. does. It's one of those scary and, things that you know is going to be awesome once you do it. Yeah. You're just scared to right. do it. I want to go someplace for a month or, like, two, like, and just do try it. it out. Like, you know, like, rent a house in this place and see how you feel after a month and then, you know, figure it out from there. Well, that's the thing. You know, I, I, I was telling you guys this story. I'll tell it again for anyone who may not have heard it. I, I was talking to a friend of mine who's lived all around the world. I said, God, it'd be nice to see what it's like to live, let's say, in Madrid. Yeah. Mm. He said, well, don't move there. 
just get a place for a month or two right. months. Right, yeah. You know, you know there's an end to it. You know you're going to have to move back home. Right. Because I can easily pack up the studios and pack up some schnauzers and a husband mm-hmm. and go, you know. Yeah. Well, the, well, the husband has to stay home. But anyway, <laughs> if you go for just a month, you know that there's an end to it and you got to come home and then you can make mm-hmm. some decisions. Yeah. Right. Wow. That's what happened in Emily in Paris. She was going to Paris just for a limited time and then she was going to move home, but it, she wound up staying in Paris. Well, I know because there's all those hot guys there. Well, exactly, right? <laughs> exactly. Hot guy after hot guy after hot guy. Yeah. Emily and Paris, they've hired some hot guys. <laughs> Scary, you've never really lived anywhere but New York. and But that's okay. You've got lots to do here. Yeah, seriously, the tri-state area. But but I, I feel like I missed out on that experience. I was cheated out of the experience of living in another city somewhere and then being able to come back home. So, I don't know. I, mean, I know it's not too late, but this is now why I'm starting to think about wanting to travel more places. And if I could ever, ever get a, a second place part-time, it would be in another state somewhere. It would have to be there somewhere far away. Mm. I don't know. Speaking of Emily in Paris, you know Ashley Park, the actress, is going to be on with us next week. She plays Mindy, the best yeah, friend. that's Emily's she, bestie. She's coming in, and she sings. we got to get her to sing Yes, oh my gosh. If she could sing, that'd be awesome. She has an amazing voice. Excellent. Uh, rolling into the three things we need to know from Gandhi. We, we did a lot this break. Science, around the room. Talked about Emily in Paris. <laughs> Look at that. Well-rounded. Uh, let's go. What's going on, Gandhi? All right, let's start in North Dakota, where a judge is overturning the state's abortion ban, ru- ban, ruling that North Dakota's state constitution protects a woman's right to an abortion before the fetus is viable. The order will go into effect within two weeks. This now clears the way for abortion to become legal in the state. Louisiana's energy company says some of the parishes that lost electricity during Hurricane Francine might not get power back until Monday. Entergy released a statement saying that power had been restored to over 50% of the hundreds of thousands of people who did lose service. We know that Francine moved across Louisiana this week. But the company also says some parishes in the area, specifically in New Orleans, might have power restored this afternoon. However, near Baton Rouge, they're looking at Saturday and Sunday and parishes in the southern bayou might have to wait until Monday to get their power back. And finally, the FDA is authorizing the first over-the-counter hearing aid software device. Hearing aid feature, I'm sorry, the hearing aid feature is made to be used with Apple AirPods Pro headphones. It it will allow compatible devices and versions of it to serve as an over-the-counter hearing aid for people 18 or over with mild to moderate hearing impairment. According to the FDA, more than 30 million American adults say they have some degree of hearing loss, and this might be able to help them out. Nate, how bad is yours? I've lost 25% in the left ear and like 15 to 20 in the right. Oh, like wow, that. really? Isn't that interesting? Because Danielle sits to your right. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, it's getting worse there, Elvis. It was only about five of two years ago. Do not blame me. I'm not saying there's a connection there. <laughs> that is a workplace injury, Nate. Here I uh, look, I don't have to come in anymore. No problem there. You're just as loud in the headphones. Whatever. <laughs> and those are your three things. Excellent. Uh, you know what? We haven't talked about the Shannon Sharp story at oh, all. Oh, can we please? You guys, have you been following the Shannon Sharp story? Closely. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Gone <laughs> all over it. And uh, and Froggy, of course, all the sleazy members of our show are yeah, all Frog, over high it. five. So as you know, mm-hmm. Shannon Sharp from ESPN, right, and uh, and also he has a, a podcast, yeah. I believe. Yeah, he has called... a really popular podcast. Right. Well, so, will you tell the story, Gandhi, because this is your story. Okay, so a couple days ago, he went live, well, his Instagram page went live, and you could hear him getting it on with somebody very intimately. You could hear moaning, you could hear him address her, you could hear specifically what the acts were Mm -hmm. and then when they switched from one to the other because it was like hey i'm gonna do this now and then his team came out and said oh my god his page has been hacked we're working vigorously behind the scenes to figure out exactly what happened here stand by Mm -hmm. and then later on he came out and said no in fact that was me i was just being a healthy active adult male i didn't mean to go live it was an accident happened you know without my knowledge Man, it sucks. And then I know, come all but the rumors. Gandhi, yes. <laughs> but, but Gandhi, Gandhi has thought this through a, in a million different ways. First of all, talk about what it takes to actually go live on Instagram. It's a multi-step process. It's not like you can just butt dial someone from your back pocket and suddenly you're on Instagram live. You have to verify, yes, I'm going live. It takes a second for it to go live. It's not just a one-step thi- one thing. I think it's three, actually. But also, 
There have been a lot of rumors going around about Shannon Sharp. I'm not saying any of them are true. I have no idea. But a lot of rumors about his sexual orientation. What is he into? And then all of a sudden, amidst the peak of all these rumors, oh my God, he goes Instagram live with a woman and you hear it all. I think it's a conspiracy. I think he did it on purpose. It was, (laughs) okay. (laughs) And I'm sure you're not alone in that theory. Uh, Have you, has anyone else here seen the video? Have you heard the audio? I've heard it. I've heard it. Yeah, it's only audio. You can only hear it. So It's it's audio. So what if it wasn't real? What if Gandhi's right Mm -hmm. and he had a friend and he said, listen, I want the rumors to stop. You mind being in the room with me? We'll play. We'll pretend we're doing this and we're not really doing this. And it's all an 